Alright, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadowrun on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, last time uh, we got some equipment and now I'm going to tackle the rest of uh, the great building. Just to clear the way so the runners will not get any more damage than they should be. The volcano is pretty harsh and I'd like to conserve my spells. So I will um, upgrade myself before getting the runners just to avoid any complications. And that's the goal for this video, get to the roof with uh, the runners. And now we're going to get a big fight here, and I'm not a big fan of it. Because the fight here seems to slow down my emulator to the point of a fall. That's up. Alright, there's nothing really to hack in here. Um, I can show you. I recall that much that this computer only has one, uh, this uh, floor only has one computer that's uh, hackable, and that's just to get to the top floor. And it has a video phone. And we'll use that later to uh, tell good Miss Drake if we go come for him is in his evil volcano lair. Really. What oh wait, that's the crud stick, not the uh cyber deck. Oops. Well let's get started, shall we? It isn't a big uh, There we go. And jacking out. Now I am going to uh, heal myself for this fight. Um, the sentry guns on the top floor are pretty tough. Well first we're going to call good old Mr. Drake. Tell him that we're going to come for him, I mean it's not like we're going to call a dragon or anything, is it? It's just a big fat suit who's, who has his minis do his stuff for him. Oh, uh, fuck. Um, let's talk, shall we? Yes, it's us. It's us. And that's you. No, we're not dead. We were dead. Now we're back alive. That's how we're able to talk to you. And you really need a comb, dude. Okay. Goodbye. Click. Thank you for using Ecotel. Have a nice day. That's kind of funny. First we'll be threatened to with by a dragon of all things, and then we'll go we'll thank for using Ecotel. These sentiments are not tough. Um, I wonder how you can miss in that range, but going to heal up. And then we're going to hire uh, in order Frog Tong and Kick Kitchen. And then we're going to go back up here. And then we're going to call it the video and the next video we'll tackle the volcano. The evil volcano lair with the evil dragon. 
And this reminds me actually, this makes uh, Jake a lot more badass than Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris once started the dragon in the way of the dragon, and then Bruce Lee killed him. And in this case, we're going to taunt an actual dragon. We're going to kill him. Well, that's a lot more badass. No matter how you want to slice it. And the reason we're taking Frog Tongue as his head is he's a lot more durable. Uh, Norbert has a little bit more offensive capabilities, um, but his offense will lag behind severely in. Um, The volcano. Uh, he just takes that little bit more extra damage that will end up in me you having to heal his ass. When Frog Tom can take the damage. Either way, first we're going to upgrade leadership. Very important, and that way they will stay with me as long as possible. And then I'm going to upgrade invisibility. And some spirit and power ball were made in one. They're not useless per se. Um, it's just that for power ball I have my uh, gun, which out damages power ball at this point. And for some spirit, while it's the most damaging thing in the game, it's way too expensive to cast. Let's first get Frog Tong. The reason for that is that Frogton gets second in line and will take a little bit more fire from Kitsune. And Kitsune is well, more fragile than glass. Yeah, that's not really smart shooting the guy with a machine gun. Or an awesome rifle actually. Which reminds me, once we are done with this place, we uh, with the volcano we can get an awesome cannon. I hope I can get a million for that, else I have to farm it. And I really hate farming the game. And the poor drummer, he still has Cthulhu eating his brains. Just because you're poor doesn't mean you're done. Okay, I will not tell you about us go to the volcano to kill a dragon then. You want to come? To 1000. Let's steal. He's cheaper than Norbert, I think. And yet, if you look at him, he has more health, a better gun, in my opinion, and a bulletproof vest. He can take a lot more damage. Um, that's pretty much it about Falcon, really. Robert has more shots per round, um, Frogton hits for more, and he can take a lot more punishment. At 70 hit points he is the toughest uh, merc in the game. The best merc in the game will be Steel Flight, but that's because he can also deck, and that save checks and health. But I don't really mind decking, it's not that hard. And now we're going to get Kitsune and then run over.
as well, I uh, discovered uh, that the glitch with the vampire only works on the uncensored version, apparently. Uh, I have the censored version. Uh, the, the uncensored version is pretty uh, unique in some ways. One of them is this one. Kids of the Steven, this version is pretty flirty. Uh, however, if I talk about her, about Kitsune, she's a shapeshifter. What's the matter? I've never seen a fox before. In the uncensored version, she says, Ever snuggled with a fox? Want to? Yeah. That's um, not really kid friendly, and. <laughs> Although it does fit the Shadowrun universe a bit more. And another thing is the Chop Shop uh, slash Mortuary guys. Um, in this game, they're the Morg guys. In the Unsinged version, they're the, um, they're the Chop Shop guys. And they're pretty much the same what you'd expect from a, a, a Chop Shop for cars, but then it's for humans. Someone dies, they cut out the organs, they cut out the cyberware, and then they sell that on the black market. Shadowrun is a lovely place to be. Evil corporations rule the world. People get shot in the streets. And if you get shot, you're, you get cut open and your body gets sold to people. It's a wonderful world. At least the fuck girls make up for it. They didn't get around until 2063. Either way, all the way to the top. And then we'll take the company helicopter and get to the volcano. And it's black. Of course, no evil corporation is ever complete without its evil black helicopter. Either way, next time we'll, we'll talk to the helicopter pilot over here and go to the volcano. See you next time on Let's Play Shadowrun.